The Forest Detective, case number 45. A jungle dense with trees. You don't scare me at all, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> we were having fun wearing masks of our favorite animal. Cheese! But then... <laughs> Molly, what's the matter? <laughs> it's just the four of us. But in the picture, there's an extra guy. One... Two, three, four, f five. It's really true. Uh, There's an extra guy. We got another case. So, whose face is it? <laughs> oh, who are you? Come on out. I could have sworn there was no one else here but us. What if a ghost? Huh? Molly. No, that's impossible. Oh. I mean, there are no ghosts, right? Molly, mm -hmm. can you enlarge the yellow face? Mm -hmm. Sure thing. Webby! Uh, Webby! Webby, Webby! A yellow-colored mask? Mm. The culprit is teasing us by hiding his identity behind a mask. I bet the bugger is still hiding around here watching us. Kiki, Webby! Let's go search the area thoroughly. Move out. Yes, Maybe. sir, Captain. Oh, how I wish I could take a picture with Coco, too. Mm. Uh, hey, what's this? The guy has just a face and no body. A floating head. That's oh. even worse. No, you guys. If you look closely, here, it has legs. It has six legs, so it's an insect? That's right. It's an insect. When we were taking pictures, it was behind us. Right over there on those flowers. Phew, I'm so glad that it wasn't a ghost. Yep, yep. How dare it try and scare us if I got my hands on it. An insect that looks like a face. That's it. Remember there was a moth that had owl-like eyes on its wings? The moth protected itself by scaring off enemies with its big eye-shaped spots on its wings. A butterfly or a moth might have some info, so let's go ask. Yeah. Coco, go left. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, this pattern is a defense to scare off enemies, right? Not sure. If it had something like big eye shapes on its wings like us, then it could scare off birds or other animals. But I don't see how a small face would scare off anyone. It wouldn't scare anyone? She's right. And the bright yellow is quite daring. Now scram! We're trying to make here! Who could this bugger be? I wonder why it has the yellow face pattern on it. Weird. Uh, ah, uh, look up there, guys! I thought it was a twig. But it's an insect! <laughs> That's it. I forgot there are insects that look like leaves or flowers. If that's the case, then maybe the guy with the yellow face is camouflaging himself like those other insects. We hide so that we don't get caught by our enemies. We try to blend into our surroundings as best as we can. So we avoid colors and shapes that grab attention. Now that I think about it, the bug in the picture is the total opposite of these guys. He's making himself more noticeable to birds and frogs. I bet you can make him out even from far away. He probably uses a different weapon to fight off predators. Weapon? weapon? I know. Maybe its bright yellow color is a warning to predators not to bother it. In that case, I'm sure its natural enemy, a bird or a lizard, would know it. No oh, pee. Huh? We could have saved a lot of time if you had come to this conclusion earlier. <clears throat> it's not too late yet. Let's hurry and question some critters that hunt insects. <laughs> Come 
Captain, Ooh. up there, uh -huh. it's the yellow face mask. The culprit must have took off his mask. Let's take a look at it. Rabby, Rabby! <laughs> yeah! Stinky! <laughs> hey, lizard, have you seen an insect that looks like this? Sure, I've seen him around. He looked yummy, so I went in for a taste, but his bad stink turned me off. After that, I don't go near him. That's stink! Oh, it's disgusting. He showed up a minute ago, so I just left. He was on those red flowers. He still might be there. Red flowers? Let's go check it out. <laughs> what the? What happened here? Look, look up there! Look, we found you. So you're the one. The fifth mask in our picture. Don't bother me. I'll give you a whiff of my stink bomb. Yeah. Hold your breath. <laughs> well, the mystery is solved. The mysterious face in our photo was a critter called a stink bug. Stink bugs live off of flower nectar, and they protect themselves from enemies with their foul smell. Yeah, yeah. The animals that have experienced this stench remember their unique and bright yellow-colored pattern and avoid them if they see them again. There are so many different ways that insects protect themselves. Mother Nature is truly amazing. The mystery is solved!